what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overload here so this will be the recap for chucky episode 7 twice the grieving double the loss episode kicks off with jake at aunt Bree's wake standing in front of some old pictures of her clearly very sad over the loss of his aunt and in another room we see logan being comforted by lexi and her parents while lexi goes over to hang out with junior for a little bit try to comfort him before she gets up to leave the mayor makes comments with lexi and her father makes comments about needing to leave since the only reason she came was to give her condolences it's like one of the more ruder moments from her in this episode and then outside of the wake devin arrives and hugs jake while they mourn the loss of aunt brie and detective evans devin reveals that someone called detective evans last episode and that's why she showed up there looking for devin before chucky killed her junior storms out and curses at jake before hitting him out of anger for all the death going on connected to jake because he just blames him for it logan intervenes and suddenly tiffany pulls up or i'd say she pulled up in style also greeting logan with a kiss before apologizing for his loss she she smiles at him and then leaves then we jump to a flashback to chicago 1988 showing chucky and tiffany moving into an apartment chucky tells tiffany that he's hungry so they order a pizza and of course they've killed the pizza guy later on in the night while they embrace each other and then we jump back to andy and kyle who are still driving the hackensack kyle is terrified of letting andy drive since she thinks he is a bad driver they are running out of gas so they stop at a gas station Kyle purchases some cigarettes from inside and some gloves and returns to let Andy drive. When Andy gets in the car, though, he locks all the doors and locks Kyle out of the car, not letting her into the passenger side, and then drives off, presumably heading to Hackensack without her. Devin is shown packing up his stuff since he's staying with his aunt since his mother died and jake comes in saying that he's worried about devin devin says he doesn't think that he's staying in new jersey because his aunt can't take care of him forever jake comforts him by letting him know that he once thought about running away but he didn't because he didn't want to not be able to see devin anymore devin tells jake that he doesn't think he should come back later and then we jump to logan drinking in front of the fireplace and telling junior he shouldn't have hit jake like that at the wake junior asks who that woman was that kissed logan and he says that maybe it was a friend of Aunt Bree's before he leaves. Junior goes into the room upstairs where the Chucky doll is. And Chucky smiles sensing Junior's presence in the room. Then we jump to the mayor with Lexi and Caroline behind her telling the town at City Hall that justice will be served regarding the murders. She announces that a celebrity host will be present at a benefit being held tomorrow. And this is most likely going to be Jennifer Tilly. Caroline is asked by the press about or she's asked a question by the press and she says that chucky told her to kill them all and she's referencing that chucky has told her to kill all her relatives logan returns home and upstairs chucky is talking to junior trying to convince him to kill logan because he's an because he's an a-hole i'll just say <laughs> and then chucky is manipulating junior while he grieves and tells him that some people just deserve to die so he's doing the same thing that we already saw him trying to do with lexi try to do with jake earlier their interaction the way they're interacting with each other kind of just implies that chucky and junior have been talking for a while probably since brie died maybe even slightly before she died then we are shown jake listening outside the room before going downstairs to logan sleeping and he takes money out of his wallet before leaving because he's he's at this point jake is trying to run away devin is shown mourning his mom before he grabs an article mentioning charles lee ray's house and decides to go there with the taser jake is shown walking downtown listening to devin's podcast and we jump to chicago 1988 again after we see jake briefly tiffany is gonna make swedish meatballs before she comes in to catch chucky killing without her and she's pissed because they haven't been killing together anymore recently chucky dons what looks like the coat he wore the night he got shot dead and leaves after they argue for a bit and then back at junior's house in the present day tiffany delivers swedish meatballs and tries to dance around the topic of why she kissed logan while junior's trying to ask who she is she seems to be trying to make it seem like logan was having an affair and she's trying to make it seem like logan was having an affair and then devin is shown walking to charles's house tiffany's house nika's house the house tiffany bought and he has found it so he goes inside after smashing a window and finds nika tied up screaming for help jake who decided to run away again is distracted by someone at the bus station or train station with a chucky doll so he follows them it's a delivery guy but jake pays the guy more to have the doll given to him by hand instead of him just delivering it whatever it costs so the doll introduces itself after it's bought by jake as billy 
and Jake is trying to get it to talk, but it doesn't. Devin is wandering the house of Charles Lee Ray following Nika's voice and he finds her and starts to untie her. But by this point, Chucky has taken back over and and he introduces himself to Devin and taunts him with his taser that Devin brought along with him. Jake takes the doll to Lexi's and talks to her about leaving town because he thought this was all his fault. That doll that they have called going by the name of Billy was supposed to get delivered to Charles Lee Ray's old house. And this does play into the old grand plan that Chucky has been working on since the series inception. Devin is then shown unconscious with duct tape and we see a glance of a cult of Chucky dolls present in the room with him. Logan wanders upstairs back at that house and hears Junior talking. So he barges in telling him that he needs to talk to him. Logan tries to take the doll and then the doll taunts him by calling Lucas and Logan the loser twins. Chucky stops playing and tells Logan to get his hands off him. An altercation happens outside and Chucky has convinced has convinced Junior that Brie killed herself because of the mythical affair between Logan and Tiffany. Junior beats Logan to death with the Chucky doll that he has and he has now killed his own dad. Chucky thanks Junior for this because by killing Logan, it's been so hard trying to convince anyone else to step up and kill. And this is all part of the grand old plan that's coming in episode eight. So he's very excited that someone of the kids finally was able to kill somebody to get the plan rolling. Devin wakes up in a room with the cult of Chucky dolls that turn and look at him while Junior and Chucky hide Logan's body. Andy arrives at the house downstairs and the episode ends on that cliffhanger as Andy rings the doorbell while Junior and Chucky look on from upstairs. So episode seven definitely is setting up for a just absolute bat, bat, sh not bat shit. Yeah, bat shit insane <laughs> finale that we're going to get. So this episode was phenomenal. I think that there's a lot of more, again, narrative payoffs, more cool flashbacks some unexpected kills that i did not expect devin sawa dying twice in this series definitely caught me off guard they killed both brothers devin sawa died two times by the hand of well not the hand of chucky but died two times in this series once by chucky and then the other devin sawa died by his son killing him with the chucky doll <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification and miss the video in the description i have links to my social media accounts my facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews i'll be to cover in the future with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video